Happy Holidays and Happy New Year 2021. I'm Dr. Billy Lenars and I'm the System Chair for Pediatrics for Oxner Health. And I'm here to sp spend a little bit of time with you reviewing information that I shared with the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education in Baton Rouge just last week. We at Oxner Hospital for Children are really aligned with educators in a single mission, and that is to maintain student safety so children can receive an education. The presence of an education in children's lives is truly a health issue, and as the pandemic has evolved, more and more evidence has emerged to show how detrimental school shutdowns are for the emotional and for the physical health of children. Our experience here at Oxner Hospital for Children continues to show that children are in fact largely spared from severe acute COVID disease. As predicted by the experience overseas and the early experience in the United States, children rarely require medical attention and hospitalization in children from COVID is vanishingly small. We at Oxner Hospital for Children continue to care for a very small number of children with delayed hyperimmune responses, also known as the multi-system inflammatory syndrome after COVID. These cases are typically seen two to four weeks after a COVID spike in the community. Here at Oxner Hospital for Children, the children we've cared for with MISC have nearly all recovered without any permanent impairment. In the very beginning of COVID, there was a lot of concern about children being able to mask and to distance. In fact, experience has now shown what we as pediatric healthcare specialists have known all along. Children are more adaptive and more resilient than adults. And also they model adult behavior very well and very predictably. The children in the schools that we support all across Southeast Louisiana have adapted easily to masking, distancing, and overall pandemic mitigation tactics that have been applied in the school setting. Des despite concerns about these mitigation tactics early on, children in schools have been a real force in the defense against COVID. With over 180 schools being part of our Safe Returns to Schools program from Oxner Hospital for Children, we've seen very, very little transmission of the virus within the schools. Nearly all of the cases which in, within the schools, which in the public's eye sometimes can be magnified by the protective move of quarantine implementation, nearly all of these have been traced in fact to contacts occurring outside the schools. Our conclusion is that children are generally more safely protected from COVID inside school than outside. And that's with over 100,000 students part of our Safe Returns to School program. We have and we will always continue to work alongside the Department of Education and other education partners throughout the state who are engaged in educating 800,000 kids in Louisiana. One great big pat on the back that we wanna to give to teachers and faculty and staff at schools is that schools have done, in fact, a fantastic job implementing the mitigation tactics that prevent COVID from spreading. Many schools in our Safe Returns to Schools program actually require student masking in all grades, including pre-K to second. And this has been widely accepted by the children and highly effective. We would support any schools that decide to take this approach voluntarily. With all of this in mind, we urge cautious implementation of the new CDC option for shortened COVID exposure quarantine for schools that elect to implement it. While it does afford the benefit of children being back in school sooner, the caution is due to the fact that the 10-day rather than the 14-day quarantine does leave a small risk of missing uh, transmission of anywhere from 1 to 10 percent that would be prevented in days 10 to 14 if the 14-day quarantine is adhered to. Therefore, when the shortened option is utilized, it's critical that those returning from shortened quarantine 
scrupulously mask and distance. And conversely, for those for whom it's not possible to mask and distance, the full 14-day quarantine should still be used. Educators have done a truly incredible job being nimble and adapting to changes in schedule and hybrid learning and educating the future of America even during such difficult times. And we at Oxner Hospital for Children really want to thank you for all of your hard work and appreciate everything you're doing to keep the students healthy. We understand that COVID-related stressors continue to create anxiousness. We look forward to our continued work with the Louisiana Department of Education and all of our partner schools as we move into 2021.